Steve as a character overall. Uh, like complains about Steve a lot. Yeah. And honestly, if I played Fox, I'd complain I about complain Steve about too. I would complain about Steve all the time. I, I get hit with a jab, and then I have a chance of dying. I get hit with an up tilt, and I'm taking 70. Man, this one is a bit of a tough time. Steve, uh, as Light explains to me, one of the best at camping in the game, but you know what? It does not matter with Light already able to effectively win space. Get in the, and now just has Big Chungus at the ledge here. Okay, going through the jab to cover, and oh. just walking and up tilting, walking and up tilting. Light is having absolutely none of it today. Yep, Light is angry again, but this time, as we say, this is what? I don't want to interrupt you for a second, I'm so sorry. I just realized that was a really good situation for Light, usually, where he does like the up in, and then he tries to cover somebody dodging back down, but then his hitbox was extended on the crafting table, and then he wasn't able to actually land and catch that dodge yeah. on time. You know what? Uh, something he didn't manage to catch. Big Shangus didn't manage to catch a ledge here and died uh, a bit too quickly in that specific matchup. And one, once you're on the lead, <laughs> well, sorry, once you're in the lead against him, you can actually just for him, force him to approach it, change his whole game plan here. Well, already at. Oh my god, he does that! No! Okay, so Light is, doesn't want to have anything to do with that. He's not letting him get any resources, he's not letting him get any materials whatsoever. He's occupying the ledge, he's constantly up in Steve's face, finally able to mine cut out of this advantage, but not before taking 25%. Backing off a little bit, but the block perfectly wigs as Light just takes stage away from Big Chungus over oh. and over and over again. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah, Big Circus is not having a good time here. The player from Sweden right now on his last up already with just one iron. He still has the dirt he had at the beginning of the set. He still has the wood he had when he began that game. So yeah, finally going for the boots to Anvil. That's great, but is it going to be enough? Because right now, still no diamond on deck. If oh, you're, okay. Listen, that's the beginning. If you shield camping, you can make it a very difficult time for the fox to actually kill you. But what Light excels is he just goes for grabs, he puts you at the ledge, yep. and then he ledge traps you, aka the place you can't shield. That being said, though, Big Chungus doing his best right now to try to keep himself in the game here. Nice double jump to get away from that dash attack. But now the question is, how do you get that next big hit on Light, who is so agile? Yeah. Jumping around. Uh, no way to get it because obviously no iron left, nothing left in the pockets here. He was in a very dire situation. You can see already he likes like just pacing, like speeding up the pace, just getting in his face and forcing him to go for options that are not safe, that are not good, and, sir, and just not let him mine on the stage to gain back those materials. One and, and not to gain back those materials. That was all that he needed, and that's what he did. That was a perfect game by Light, by the book, I guess, uh, in that Indeed. matchup. I mean, he did exactly what he needed to do that matchup, which is, you know, whenever somebody's taking too long to set up a new face, it's like. I don't know, I guess like back in the 1700s when people were really using like muskets, right? That took like 30 seconds, right? They'd have to take a stick and then poke the, you know, the you little the bullet French back musket. in. French musket. Yeah, indeed. So uh, Light was like, okay, if you need all this time to set up, you're trying to put up a block. This is not a sufficient enough barricade to actually prevent me from going in. And right now though, Big Chunk is really there looking for that up tilt and unfortunately didn't react to actually connecting that one and didn't go through the follow-up. But Light is going to take full advantage of it. 34 and counting 47, setting up the struggle and still getting hit by the anvil. But guess what? Yeah. Somebody's got no island. Exactly the same situation as before. Light in the face of Big Chungus, not letting, le not letting him mine at all. And just like that, dude, he did try to mine a bit, but no iron left indeed. No iron card, no anvil. What are you going to do to get back on that safe? Nothing. You're just going to be in the grinder here. Light is not going to let you get back on the safe. Oh, pretty interesting. Pretty exotic try to do way to recover, but it's not going to be enough. Unfortunately, you're back into square one. Okay. Trying to go for some of these funny little planking setups here. Yep. He's actually going to end up panning out oh. here as Big Chungus does take stage control and catching all these high recoveries. Light has to take that hit just so that he can make it back onto the stage three. He Ooh. understands that Steve's win condition is to get, you know, a two frame on his upbeat. That being said, though, Fox nice and light. Steve able to take it off the top with that up smash, but then oh. so is Light dashing on Envil and finding one of those bad boys of his own. Light going for the evasive action at the very last moment and then punishing it from below with the very good up smash and just like that, he's a bit silent here for Big Chunk because he was pretty close to finally get an, a diamond in that set. Unfortunately, he just got a kill, so he had to go back from zero. Let's go. He'll have to mine again a lot and again. Uh -oh. No, I, oh wait. Very good cut. <laughs> Did you see that? He just see the fact that he had no iron to go directly into the confirm. I love it. And now what? Okay, oh my it's not gosh. going to be okay. not the fault really, but look at the damage still ramping up for the first time. Maybe Big Chunk is trying to uh, show us that he's in that game. He is in there. Guess what Big Chunk is doing now? He is now actually respecting Light behind yeah. the blocks, and he's no longer mining because every single time Light took full advantage of it and was able to dash in there and sometimes find a dash attack. And now he's waiting for Light to do something and trying to bait something. But guess what? Light was very patient and actually landed before that team. 
TNT setup. Yep, that was a good uh, choice here by Light to just land before the TNT and just right there you can see already Big Sham is right to gain some space, gain some distance from that fox and unfortunately the minecast is going to be caught here with the beautiful back here. And still no diamond for Big Chungus here. Good aftermath and no rage. Unfortunately, not going to get a kill. And now you're going to just jump around and use all your resources again. Okay, Big Nice and Patient. Look at this. He is looking out for one option. He knows exactly how to punish Steve's Minecraft, and that is to go above him and then getting kind of back to Boy Boyden. He's just priming himself and putting that one option in his mind. Yeah, another thing is, you know already how uh, Steve player loves to do a wall and just force you to run around the wall. Good back air to here. As I was saying, he put one block, forced the jump out of light and punished it with the back air. But up to now, light has been running around and avoiding all this option from Big Chungus very well. For example, he was just going to destroy the block from below and just sidestep, wait for an option from Big Chungus and then punishing it, punishing it accordingly. Here, however, again, same situation, Big Chungus doesn't manage to breathe a single time. Now to up smash again, a very big confirm from light. He managed to connect it and that was perfect. I can't believe that up tilt didn't connect though. Granted, it is a bit of a high risk, high reward situation uh, because for like Big Chungus, if you did connect that up tilt, of course, we already know what Steve is capable of, especially that close to the ledge. He can combo it into a double foil to go off stage. And the up tilt should have been the move to actually properly anti a Fox, but unfortunately, uh, well, actually, really fortunately for Light, he was able to get in between the hits of the up tilt, find that neutral, find that up smash of his own, uh, and then close out that stock. Uh, I will say though, Big Chunkus is being a little bit more patient this time. He's not only committing to mining in exploitable ranges, he is actually now respecting how much distance Light can cover and is not um, falling into it as much. The biggest thing that I want to see from him, I want to see less mine cards at that exploitable distance. Yeah. But, ooh. There we go. Carrying the dog out there and punishing it with an anvil in the face now. What? Just going to force a very low recovery, trying to punish it there. The going to clank. Uh, 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 yeah, Lovely back on. But still, the damage has been done, and now finally Light can express himself, and you know already how he does know, and how he can extend those advantage for forever. And just like that, just aiming the odds, and just adding pressure on oh. the ledge. That's not going to be enough, that's all out. We'll sure let you avoid the grab for one, but it won't be now. What? What do you do? Back to square one again. Oh. Okay, nice little dodge back. He's like just it. trying to look out for any point as he back is descending from light now. That's that diamond! Please it's get done. the diamond! There okay. we go! First diamond of the set! <laughs> You know what? That's all part of the plan to just get the diamond already on hand. Look at that. He's going to get the diamond tools and his second now. He baited him. He dashed back yes. there. He looked out for the Fallen Gale and he was able to find that dash attack on his own, right? Backing off here yet again, mining. Just looking for Light to overextend at this distance, but he's not going to take any of these baits quite yeah. yet. He tried to drop down with the cancelled of yep. the block uh, to get rid of his end lag. It didn't work out that way. And now Light is continuing the pressure yeah, of his point system. Yeah, I don't like it again because the damage had been done before on the first stock and the diamond has been used without any like efficiency yet. What is... Come on, just go for back here or something like this and just baiting to grab it. Oh my goodness, love the punish here for like no tech on that. Was that an air? I don't remember. But that was again a very good punish here. One stock ahead for the US player here. And again, oh, baiting. What a tomahawk. I love it. Setting up the struggle here. Wanted to maybe go for an uphill. Yeah, the last go. of the island. But now finally, Big Chunk just does take out that stock. 119%. You just gotta look out for the up smash. You gotta look out for the neutral and stuff. You, you hold shield too much. And Light is just going to set up a ledge trap instead. So, ooh, yeah, yeah. Holding up the shield a little bit yeah. too long. There. Light finding that poke. And if I'm light, I'm taking a nice deep breath, I can chill for at least a second. Yeah, Big Shangus was very eager to find another diamond because he knew his death was near. He wanted to have a final diamond on his final stock, maybe in that winner bracket. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to find one before dying. We have to mine again Ooh. from the get-go. Uh, now, yes, yeah, okay. Light right. kept jumping up Yeah, I saw that scoop with the ass like not going to be enough. Still, the damage has been done. There we go, finally going to... Oh, no, it was a bit too late. Didn't expect Light to get caught by this, I guess. And there we go. Oh, very cheeky wow. smash here. That would have been a lot of damage with the 4 Oh my god. If very the platform wasn't there, Light would have gotten hit by the 4 -day. But it actually uh, stood him and then he was able to get his frame 1 shield instead of, I believe, Fox's frame 2 area dodge. I'm fairly certain that would have been able to combo. But either way, that's the backing. That doesn't do it quite yet. Big Chunk is not going to take that stage away from Light. Just opting to get some more resources here. Waiting, oh, waiting, oh, waiting, oh, waiting. Oh no. This is a very tough situation. No pickaxe now. What are you going to do? You need to craft a new tool quickly. You can do anything. Oh, yeah. Pen it. No! Oh my gosh, oh, Light slightly misplacing that up smash here. Try to go through the drag down. That's going to be the uphill. Calling out the block with the two stock. Light taken out. Big Chunk is here with a fairly dominant three up. Light chain prepared. And there we go. We have the dance. We have the Steve dance.
Yeah, Light like doing the dance because again he won against the Steve. He's happy about it for sure. Big Shangus again did try to defend his country, but Light came prepared as we were saying yeah. before. And you can see already the results of this preparation here. He knew exactly when to go for that upper. For example, the last one who could really manage to get a kill. And I would I want to talk about it again. The way he just tried to force a big Shangus to go for an option every time he was destroying the wall and just punishing it accordingly every mm. time. GG's. Do you want to do the dance again? Big Chungus, Ma. What'd you say? Big Chungus, Ma. Big Chungus, Ma. Do you want to do the dance again? Because I didn't see you. No? Do you want to do the dance again? Because I didn't see you. Yeah, yeah. It's over. Okay. The moment's gone. You it's can't okay. force it. Like yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. Man. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.